Hi folks, we are here with part three of Props Found Anywhere. You may have seen this box, the Gnome's Dinky Box. Just a simple old Christmas ring box. But then we also got the stall we stripped from the last one. And basically, what could you do with her? Well, she can be a statue. You know, you give it to your party members, you must give this. And they pass it on from player to player saying, hey, you must now carry the statue, Brandon. Hey, why carry it? Brandon, this is a prop to tell me where the statue is at the table. Or, coins. Always got to have coins because, you, you, you know, there's always a chance you may find one cursed. Or, these coins can be used in L5R as... Uh, uh, what's it called? The token. Imperial Favor Tokens. So you go, I'm going to lobby for the Imperial Favor Token. Here you go, Brian. There's your token. Or, I got one coin left. What can I get as they slide down? But, since it's after Halloween, let's show you some props that could be found for to enhance a game. A Werewolf's Claw. And this can be used as a monkey's paw, a uh, uh, an artifact that you got to give to a wizard, and you know who's carrying it in the party, or just something to be obnoxious. And there's rings. Right now is a great time to go Halloween shopping because there's rings, jewelry, random stuff left, little sets, like this set of rings. Ah, the pimp one can't be used because it's junk, but this right here. The Royal King insignia. And you give it to someone, let's say, our player, Kingston, and he's got to carry this ring to the king or the rightful owner. If he doesn't, he's dead. Then you pass it on to the next person. And then if they lose it or something happens, then they are dead. You know, rings are very good. Very good props indeed, as they don't slide down. Then there's holy artifacts. These are my personal favorites. Like this. You could use this as the Ayadar Marmu, a holy symbol that only one person can carry. Or it could be your cleric's holy symbol, where you go, back spawn of the devil, and it kills demons when you make your roll. And then, you need something for mummies, an onk. Very good, very good thing to kill stuff with. Van Helsing, always need a cross. And if it's not a cross, then you can use it as, hey, this is emo, emo, uh, where? So my, my, my character is really hella, hella emo. So I'm going to make him wear this. So it gives me an evil score plus one. You see, there are all kinds of props you can find currently at your Halloween store. So check them out. And they could enhance any D&D &D game if you let it.